And disrespect my father, he wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. So mm -hmm. stop it there, right? Right. That's so exactly you, the you didn't yep. even have uh, the prime example of what you needed to carry your love for men, you mm -hmm. know, in, in your, you know, later ages. So well, let's you didn't go have back a, to God. Well, let me make it concise for you. You was raised without a father. Your father, you had a father, but he didn't raise you. So your father wasn't there to instill certain traits in you. So you will accept a man's love. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So that's why that's you're saying that that's you true. don't know how to. Correct. That's why you just said that. Oh well, uh, what did you said? You hate men. That's I'm not. That's who. She said she but that's not what I said. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So them. this is what I'm saying. saying. You just said that you don't. That's the reason why you said that you don't respect men is because you was raised without a father. So now you're going through life and you don't know how Which to is a lot of women though. other men's love that's a lot of women so, though to be I, honest i want to go back to what you were saying about god oh, my no, spirit right because i do love god and i do respect god because i feel like god is in me right so when i feel like something ain't right that's all mad spiritual <laughs> sorry it's not looking like that like i meant it like in a sense I'm of sorry, like you're like god's in you me know like, what i mean <laughs> like what you said about god right yeah. so i feel like god gives us like our the spirit right so we know when something is right and when something is wrong but so all women have that to so be honest it's, it's, it's intuition, intuition. Yeah, it's intuition. Yeah. so yeah. I, with Men or have without intuition a father too. I oh know God, when yes. something was wrong and when something was right so I didn't need a father to tell me wrong from right I knew what was up no okay so is the lack of a father in a young lady's life is that going to cause them problems um, when they get older, knowing, I guess, I guess the point he was making was because you didn't have your father in your life, you're accepting false versions of love from men because no one taught you what it should look like. Does that, does that make sense to you? That could be, that could be a thing. That could be true. Um, I mean, that's so, so, uh, False love or false love from a man? Because a mother yes, yes. can love you. No, no, no. From a man. From a man. Um, without the right example, I mean, we've had people on our show tell us, yeah, that they grew up, they grew up in a household where it was all women, and so they were kind of always hearing bad things about men that made them feel like, oh, well, that's what it's going to be like for me, you know? So, um, but there was so much talking going on. I was it was hard for me to follow mm -hmm. until she kind of explained it. So was she saying that she hates all men or she doesn't trust men? Apparently, earlier in the conversation, she said that. So he was trying to. I guess he was trying to give a reason for why you feel that way. It's because you didn't have a father. So I don't yeah, know. I mean, um, like you could just you could you can. You don't necessarily have to have a father to draw that to, to not have a father to draw that conclusion. Social media, television, movies can make you draw that conclusion too that men are but untrustworthy. If, but if you had a good father at home, like a, a father that loved you and loved your mom the right way, would you have that feeling? No matter what happened on social media, you have an example of a good father. Yeah, I, I, mean, I hope my girls say that about me. That's where I was leaning to. We yeah. both have girls. Mm -hmm. What do you want them to know about men from you? Um, the example that I set, I, I mean, I want them to know that, you know, men are, are loving and men are generous and they're kind and they, um, I mean, I want them to know, I, it's hard to say that because I mean, the things that I want them to know for about, about me are not so much about, um, well, gosh, it's hard to say what I want them to find, what I want them to find in a man mm -hmm. uh, versus what I want them to know about a man. What do you um, want them to find in a man? I want them to find a godly man. I want them to find a man that... How said, will they know he's godly? Seeing, seeing some of the same traits that, that they see in them that they've picked up from me, reading my Bible, praying, talking about the Lord, sitting down, having conversations, um, you know, telling them how good God is and telling them w what kind of God we serve. Like my kids ask so many questions about God. Mm -hmm. It's it's overwhelming from time to time. I mean, we'll be in the car, and I I look at my wife and I say, "Can you please handle that one? I I don't know how to respond to that." You know, um, yeah. So I mean, like, so my 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 father passed away uh, thirty days before my first child was born. So all they know when they hear about my father is Grandpa James is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And they ask so many questions about Grandpa James in heaven. And I'm like, oh, this is hard for them to 
get until they grow older. Mm -hmm. So now I just got to answer the questions with the most, you know, with the best that I can. And it's really hard. A lot of the questions they ask me are really hard. Um, you know, uh, where does he live in heaven? Um, what is he doing right now? Mm -hmm. is it's he stuff that you haven't even thought yeah, through. It is, yeah, is he looking at us right now? You know, um, like my one of my kids was just crying one day, and I'm like, why are you crying? I want to go to heaven and meet Grandpa James. I just want to give him a hug. And at that moment, I'm struck by that. It's a trigger for me because mm -hmm. then I'm like, I need to process how I feel before I give you the exam the answer as to why you can't so I hug your grandfather. So I've honestly not thought about this yet with Noah, my daughter Noah. Yeah. And um, I guess what I would say is what I want her to see from me is how I treat Alfie when we're by ourselves. Yeah. Matters. Not just what I say on the show, <clears throat> on the show, what I do at church. When, when I'm teaching her classmates, because we, yeah. we teach her class at, at church. Okay. It's not just what you do in those public settings. It's what she sees that I do when we're by ourselves. Yeah. Or what she can overhear when she's in her room. Yeah. Those are the things that matters because that's what she's going to take home, to, you know, put in her heart when she looks for a man is if my dad is constantly fussing at um, my mom. Right. Or treats my mom badly, or you know makes my mom cry, mm -hmm. or that's what she's going to expect to have mm -hmm. to deal with too. So yeah. we have a huge responsibility with our daughters on how we treat them, but also how we treat our wives because that's whatever you show her yeah. is what she's going to think is going to happen to yeah. her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then I think also kids see things differently too. Like me and my wife would be joking about something, and my kids would be like. Don't do that. Don't say that about yeah. mommy. We were right. like, we're just joking. Yeah. We're yeah. just joking. No, that's true. And then it and then becomes a, a trigger for them to, you know, ask more questions. Yeah. You know. Um, they we do this thing, um, then my kids are always like, I got your back, mommy, I got your back, daddy. Yeah. Me and mommy are not actually taking sides. Right. <laughs> but you just think that we are because yeah. we're making a, a silly bet. You know no, what I mean? <laughs> that that is a good point. There are things that can be even even if you do an amazing job as yeah. a father, there's still going to be things that leave wounds on your children, right? Yeah. So like even even with us, like me and my wife are very competitive, like especially when it comes to sports. So we have like this little, <laughs> you've seen it, a little indoor basketball court yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah. So sometimes you know we'll get out there and we'll we'll shoot on the mm -hmm. little. It's like a little toy basketball yeah. hoop, right? And my wife is super competitive, so she'll be. I'll be trying to block her, and she's like fighting through me and all yeah. this kind of stuff so yeah. my my daughter one day she was like stop 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 because she thought we were fighting yeah. it's like baby no we're not fighting yeah, 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 I yeah. just can't let that crap in in the <laughs> lane like I just, <laughs> I, I just can't I just can't do I, yeah. I can't let her score like I just can't yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah there can be some things that they misinterpret but overall you have to consider like this is mm -hmm. not your children are soaking up Every single thing you do, they are like. There's things that my daughter picks up on. That I'm like, how did you know that? It's like, oh, oh you yeah. said such and such last week, or I heard yeah. you on the phone mm -hmm. with so and so. Oh man, it's like, oh my gosh, yeah, man. Oh, like man. you are literally a living witness to what yeah. they're going to believe about Absolutely. God and what they're going to believe about their husband every single day in your house. Yeah, yeah, and and I think it also changes as they get older too. As they get older, they start to realize like the questions they ask about heaven, they'll understand a whole lot better, right? So. um you know, they ask questions like, um, uh, what is, how old will I be when I get to heaven? Am I going to be a kid still or am I going to be an adult? And I'm like, I don't have to answer that question because you'll understand that as you get older and you start processing what heaven is. Mm -hmm. You'll understand your own answer. You'll have your own answer to that, right? Um, because when I say there will be spirits, they're like, well, what does that mean? And I'm saying, well, and then they ask, is God a spirit? Is God a man? And I'm like, okay, here we go. So I start explaining that to them. And then they ask more questions about that, right? So recently we lost our pet, mm -hmm. right? And so we told our, our they asked the question, is, um, is our pet in heaven? And I was like, yeah, okay. And then they were like, hey, the first thing they want, I said, well, what do you want? you know to remember about her well i want her to go meet grandpa james i want the dog to go meet grandpa james okay cool so then they asked me um when she when she was sick you know she wasn't able to walk anymore is she walking in heaven is she running is she able to run again because I, I kept saying she's in no more pain mm -hmm. and they were like oh is she running in heaven now and i'm like oh, okay 
okay, you know, like I, I have a hard time answering these questions mm-hmm. because I don't want them to be like confused. Yeah. By my answer. So I guess the, the real question is, what do you think your daughters would be missing if you weren't there? Oh man. What would what would they not get if you weren't in their life? I think that there would be, um, you know, they call me hero daddy. Mm-hmm. So I think that they would be missing a lot of that, um, you know, talking about what they see on television. You know, like I, my daughters always walk up to me and they're like, let me see your muscle. I'm like, OK, okay <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and then I, I do like that. And they're like, oh, daddy, wow. Ooh. They You're start telling each other yeah. like, yeah, superhero. Yeah. So I think that they would be missing the superhero that they they kind of made me out to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and, that, and I think they see that on television. You know, a lot of the superhero uh, characteristics that they ascribe to me is you know daddy killed a bug he killed a bug yeah. you know yeah. yeah okay it's not really a big deal to them it's a but it's a huge age. deal to yeah. them yeah so. yeah i i I, <clears throat> I don't think i my daughter is five now and i i guess i don't really think about what i mean to her i i know when i get home from work and she's there she'll stand by the door and be like daddy yeah. and she'll give me a hug and i'm like wow what who am I to her? Like, yeah. like what, what did I do to deserve that? Like, I didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. But she sees, she sees me as, like you said, like this this hero in her life. And yeah. she asked me a bunch of questions. And she, she you know, asked me to teach her things. And it's like, man, what would it be like if I wasn't there? Mm-hmm. What, am I am I taking it serious, the responsibility I have to be that example for her yeah. at this age? Or am I busy doing stuff? Or am I busy trying to work or do track stars or whatever? Like, yeah. Am I missing opportunities to instill in her that, you know, my wife is the most important thing to me. She's the mm-hmm. most important thing to me. God's the most important thing to me, yeah. not the stuff. Yeah. Because I don't want her to get into a marriage where her husband is not sensitive. Yeah. Not caring. Doesn't listen. Doesn't adjust when she when he gets feedback. I want to make sure sh- I need to start thinking about that now. Yeah, Am yeah, I yeah. living up to what I want her husband to be? Because if I if I if I'm doing something if I catch myself and I'm like if her husband did that would I be mad? Yeah. Would I be mad? Very true. And I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know if I always pass that. Uh, but no, absolutely not. Because we're all imperfect people and we're human. Um, and so we'll we'll make those mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I've had those situations where I've had to sit them down and be like, listen, Daddy has been frustrated and angry and concerned and confused about a lot of different things so when things don't go my way i will probably take it out on you (laughs) (laughs) i mean i I, 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 no i'm not saying that i'm doing that i'm saying that that's what the conversation was like i got sorry for having taken this out on you (laughs) okay so not that i'm going to all right so exactly that's exactly what it was so my daughter dropped her instrument right right and we just got angry right yeah and we didn't we didn't get angry because she dropped it. It was careless. Life is whatever. Hard, yeah. We got angry because we were like, we got to pay for an instrument now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, on top of everything else. So luckily it was fixed. I was able to fix it. But they, I, but we had to explain to her why we were like, okay, why, are we, why we were so upset. But I guess, I guess what I'm saying is even that, I think the responsibility is on us to be better than that. Like if I fuss at my daughter... I could I could tell her I, I fuss at you because you're a bad kid, you know, <laughs> or I fuss at you because my life is hard, or I fuss at you because we don't have enough money. But the truth is, yeah. I shouldn't fuss at you. It's not your fault. And no, if it's I not do that, I'm gonna apologize. Of course, right? that, and that's exactly what I did because my I I was like I was like uh, yeah, I was so upset that my wife was like. All the girls are crying. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was like, okay. So we gotta have a family meeting and sit down and talk about it. Yeah. And See, it was, and it was easy. It was easy. It was easy for them to understand it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was like, yeah, it was, it was a stressful. Yeah, a stressful I'm, I, I'm, I'm being forced to learn a lot more about leadership right now. Mm. Um, you know why? But I, I had to study leadership mm-hmm. and how to manage people more now. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. one thing that that really struck me was leadership is not pretending like you have it all together it's right. it's being vulnerable and being mm-hmm. open with the people you lead sure. that you don't have it together right sure. so being able to say i did not do a good job i'm sorry mm-hmm. or 
uh, this is my issue, and and I, yeah. I pol- if you see this, let me know because I don't I don't mean to do this. This is just an issue that I have. Yeah, it, it's it it does more than trying to pretend like you don't. Yeah, I remember one situation where I got so upset, <clears throat> and uh, we were almost late for school, and then when the Holy Spirit was like, "You cannot let her get out the car," feeling like she was the reason y- y'all yeah. were almost late or y'all were late. Yeah. So I I remember saying like, "Hey, get back in the car." And I took my daughter to McDonald's. We were super late then, <laughs> but I took her to McDonald's and I got her some ice cream and I just let her sit in the car and I just talked to her and I was like, hey, that wasn't that wasn't fair for me to accuse you of making us late or yeah. you know the reason why. And so we just got to move faster in the morning. I was like, but I'm giving you this treat because I want you to know that I'm apologizing and I hope you forgive me. I forgive you, daddy. Okay, cool. Yeah. You know, but and I it- knew that was going to scar but it, her but it's also a reminder that, that the things that we feel like we're late for or we got to hurry up and do at the end of the day they're not really that serious and we need to remind ourselves sometimes that it's not that serious and and when i find myself getting frustrated with her or frustrated with my wife about something and I, I, yeah. you got to start and stop and think why is yeah, what yeah, i'm yeah. frustrated about that important sure if if i tell them to wait or I, if i'm late or i yeah. miss something is yeah. it really going to be worse than fussing at my daughter. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's maybe never, this. Maybe we need to think. It's about never that. that serious. It's never that serious. That's good, man. Yeah. All right. Well, we didn't mean to be so sentimental today, uh, but we'll talk about your favorite celebrities next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, this is a skeleton crew today, but we have fun reading your comments. Yeah, 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 yeah. It gave us more time to read your comments, honestly, because mm-hmm. we weren't distracted with yeah, the people yeah, in the room. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Make sure you join us live whenever you can. Uh, make sure you go to patreon.com for slash track stars universe thank you for all the new members we have a lot of stuff planned for you guys so go there sign up you get a free t-shirt um it's you you could do it for seven days you get to keep the t-shirt even if you leave us it's fine and the cool thing is now there we have free members so if mm-hmm. let's say you can't afford it one month or you can't afford it for a while you could just convert to a free member and then come back if you want to it's literally just you guys are supporting us. It, it yeah. really helps us with, you know, me and Jerry, we were just talking before the show. Okay, there's a couple things we have to fix in the studio. There's a couple things we have to. We have a really cool series that we're planning for the next year that we may need lights for and, mm-hmm. and, and you know, switchers and things like that for. So mm-hmm. you guys supporting us on Patreon really helps us. You guys watching our videos, subscribing, liking, all that stuff. This year has been incredible. Uh, Jerry, show this thing back here. That thing keeps going up and up and up. Last week was at what ninety one, uh, seventy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's it's going yeah. up like crazy, and and yeah. uh, you guys have really really shown out this year. So we appreciate you, all the new live listeners. I've been seeing new names in the chat every week. Um, we really appreciate you. Um, go yeah. back, get caught up on all the this eighteen years of stuff up. So go back, get caught mm-hmm. up on all the, of what got us here. We haven't always been as mature as we are now. Not saying that we are. <laughs> We still have a long way to go, but we were worse before. So you can go back and see the journey of... We're when, like T.I. and Boosie. Children mature you. Yeah, but I mean, go back to our early days before we were married, complaining about women. You can see us say crazy stuff on this show. Like, we, we've we grown up doing this show. Yeah. So you, there's a lot of stuff to catch up on. Uh, thank you to all the members that's on Track Stars, the actual Track Stars YouTube page. They're members. We appreciate you guys, too. We have some plans for Line for Line. If you love Line for Line, make sure you subscribe to trackstars.com forward slash Line for Line. Go find the Line for Line YouTube channel. Subscribe there because mm-hmm. we're going to be doing Line for Lines on the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. If you're a member of the Track Stars page, you can still vote and get your vote counted by getting on the Patreon feed. Yeah. Because um, we're going to close this feed during around this time. We're going to move over to the Line for Line channel. Mm-hmm. But the Patreon and Line for Line channels are still going to be live. So yeah. go support us. And if you, if by any chance you have not subscribed to us yet, yeah. you got to do that right now. now. Subscribe right this second. It helps us so much. Our goal is to get to 100000 before the end of the year. It's going to take a miracle because we're not super close to 100000 But we yeah. believe that we can get there. So you can help us. Yeah, And I'll say this too, uh, just real quick um, before we sign off. Shout out to Damo. Yeah. He is a married oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out to our team member Damo. He's a married man. Um, it's funny. Uh, we had so many jokes for, uh, about him earlier this week. I have to just <laughs> clue you in on those later. But there's just funny, funny jokes. But he's a married man now, and we're excited for him. So Welcome him, to the family, Linnell. Yeah, yeah him and yeah, the missus. Yeah. Go enjoy honeymoon time. <laughs> That's awesome, man. We had some birthdays. So we had, uh, Mike Sarge had a birthday this past yeah. week, so shout out to him. Yeah, Mike. And we got some a lot of birthdays coming up. 
Um, mm-hmm. Our boy's birthday is coming up. Yeah. Jeremiah. So go mm-hmm. go wish him a happy birthday this upcoming week. We love you guys. Thank you. We'll see you next week. You're in the field with the track stars. Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go.